Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the perimeter of a composite figure, a composite shape, by counting units. And remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside of a shape. Let's jump into number one, where we need to find the perimeter of that composite figure. So we need to find the total distance around the outside. And one way we can do this is by counting the units. That's why we are using grids here made of unit squares. Each side of a square is one unit. And specifically for number one, our unit is feet. So each side of a square is one foot. For example, this side of the square is one foot. So let's count each unit, each foot around this composite figure. We will start up top, but keep in mind, it doesn't matter where we start as long as we go all the way around and include all of the sides. So starting up top, this is one foot. Then we have another foot here, so this is two feet. Now we can go down the side, so this is three feet, four feet, five feet, six feet, now across the bottom, so seven feet, eight feet, nine feet, 10 feet. Now let's go up this side here, so this is 11 feet, 12 feet, 13 feet, 14 feet, 15 feet, 16 feet. And we are back to the start. So we went all the way around the outside of that composite figure. So that's the perimeter. Let's write this off to the side. And I'll use P4 perimeter equals 16 feet. And we're done. So the perimeter for number one, 16 feet. Let's try another example and move on to number two. Taking a look at number two, let's find the perimeter of this composite figure. Now our unit here is inches. So each side of a square is one inch. For example, this side of the square down there is one inch. So let's find the perimeter here and we're going to start up top again. So this is one inch, two inches, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, we're almost there, 31, 32, 33, 34, inches. And that's the perimeter of this composite figure. So the perimeter equals 34 inches. Lastly, let's move on to two more examples, numbers three and four. And you're going to try these on your own. Here are our last two examples that you can try on your own. You can either pause the video and work on these, or I'll put some music on and give you a minute and a half to work on these. Feel free to jump ahead to the answers when you're done. So find the perimeter for numbers three and four, and we are working with centimeters here. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so let's see what we have here for the perimeters. I'm going to put up the perimeter for number three and the perimeter for number four. So you can check your answers. For number three, the perimeter, 28 centimeters. For number four, the perimeter, 30 centimeters. So there you have it. There's how to find the perimeter of a composite figure, a composite shape by counting units. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.